my hope is that we get to continue as a democracy in this country, that we get to have elected officials representing the people as our forefathers created. And what Donald Trump is doing is trying to become an authoritarian, a dictator, and he is the worst thing that ever happened to this nation. And there are so many examples that it's ridiculous to try to name them all. And so I don't, I forgive the people who were lied to by Mark Burnett about Donald Trump. I forgive them when they are going to see the truth about him and he's going to go to jail because that's where he deserves to be and that's where any other American would be if they did what he did. And I totally disagree with you saying that he didn't have anything to do with the insurrection, that he didn't instigate it, plan it, demand it of his fans, because he did, Bill. He did. Well, you'll see, we'll see in court what is presented. And if you are correct, then we'll have another debate. But I will take a $10,000 okay. bet right now with you Rosie, to your favorite charity okay. or mine, that Donald Trump will okay. not be convicted of insurrection because he's not charged oh. with it. Man, that is so you cheap, want the Bill. 10K, that is so I'm here, cheap. I'm here to, you cheapo. I'm here to do it. You cheapo. He wasn't charged with it. Hey. Make a $10,000 hey, bet that he won't hey, be found guilty I'll, of anything I'll, in the case. I'll make that bet. Ten no, he wasn't that charged he found with insurrection. Guilty. All right, you got it. Not of that. Not yeah, of that. He wasn't charged other with charges. It. Sneaky. Anything Bill. he is charged you know, with, I agree he will be guilty. You take okay. that bet? We'll see. Um, you know, I'm no. not really fearful of our democracy because there isn't anybody uh, more outspoken in this country than I am about politics and other things. And my freedom was not impeded one iota during the Trump administration. And I don't know any broadcaster's freedom who was. You still have the view on every day, pounding Trump into pudding. Nothing happens. All the working people I know were better off under Donald Trump. So there wasn't any economic consequence. So I really don't that's know bull. what the hyperbole is. That's bull. And that's why I reject that's it. That's bull. Rosie, with all due respect, you're not going to be successful saying that democracy is on trial and anybody who supports Donald Trump is a fascist. You're not. I mean, those people are going to reject you well, 100 percent because there's a lot more to okay. it than you are presenting. He's right. He's right. Calling Donald Trump a fascist means nothing mainly because we don't know what fascism actually looks like anymore. We kind of destroyed it after, uh, you know, marching into Berlin. And then we successfully rehabilitated Germany, just like the same way we did with Japan. And then we helped make South Korea into the powerhouse that it is today. So I, I, I don't think liberals truly understand what they mean when they say fascist, because the actual word means Everything within the state, nothing outside of the state. The original fascist ideology was basically a criticism of Karl Marx saying, we love the idea of the dictatorship of the proletariat, but we also like the idea of having private property because we kind of need that to function as a species. Mainly because Marx didn't understand economics, he understood history. But that's another topic for another debate. And furthermore, that garbage at the beginning Okay, Rosie, I get it, you have Trump derangement syndrome. But I want to be honest here. How dare you? How dare you think that you need to forgive someone for an opinion? No, 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 no. This is the ultimate problem here. This is the reason why we have so many issues in our country. The reason isn't the fact that Democrats offer bad policies all the time. They usually end up bungling everything at state and local levels. It's not because we've seen Democrats just be worse for Americans. No, that's not the problem. We can work with people who are incompetent. All right? It is possible for your company to have some incompetent people running around, but they, they're family, they're good people, they show up on time. They're at least able to do a couple of small tasks here and there. That's not the problem. The problem is that this woman, Rosie O'Donnell, thinks that she needs to forgive you and absolve you. This woman automatically looks at the average person and thinks, I'm better than you. See, 
the ultimate issue in the Democrat Party is not the fact that it's a large coalition of union workers, blue collar workers, black men, white dudes, Latinos, women. That's not the problem. It's the rich white liberals who have been catered to for the past decade, just given everything that they want and then making them feel like they are gods among men who need to forgive us of our sins. That mentality right there is an automatic non-starter when it comes to national unity. You want to talk about national unity? Okay, start by apologizing that you've been so arrogant to think that you need to bring us back into the fold, to think that half the country, sorry, half of Republicans are in this basket of deplorables. That's the problem right there. It's not the basket of deplorables. Uh Uh-uh, that's not the problem. It's not the fact that uh, Democrats, their coalition is coming apart of the seams. It's not the fact that there's still a bunch of uh, wealthier Republicans who don't understand that the party left them because they failed. That's not the issue. The issue is the mentality of these people. And you can even see Chris Cuomo uh, being a part of it for a brief moment because he realized that uh, Bill O'Reilly was making a point that Rosie O'Donnell was completely missing. And instead of chiding Rosie for getting something wrong, he chided Bill O'Reilly for being right. He broke the narrative. These people have to understand something very simple. They're the ones that need the forgiveness for being so arrogant. And all you're really going to have to do, if there is if there's somehow a wealthy white liberal watching this video, here's how you do it. All you have to say is, you know what? I have been lied to about everything. The entire worldview that I have been given and bought into is based on lies. And I probably need to ask some forgiveness because I've been so wrong. You, Rosie, you don't need to forgive us because there's nothing to forgive. Okay, we have been telling you that there are problems out here and you've been denying them. And then you think that talking about the riot at the Capitol is going to be a winning talking point to a father of of four kids and trying to be that sole breadwinner, but can't do it anymore because the party that you keep on propping up has made inflation so bad that he can barely afford his groceries. That requires a level of both arrogance and just general meanness. That's the problem that we're really facing when it comes to national unity. So the next time you talk about national unity, ask yourself this, have I made things worse for my neighbor because I voted for a Democrat? If the answer is yes, congratulations. You're a savable human being. You're invited to Thanksgiving dinner. Let's talk, okay? Until that happens, national unity, you're not gonna have it. I mean, we're Americans. We come from uh, Scotch, Irish, and English backgrounds. Quite literally, the colonies were born out of the uh, English Civil War. And so you had those divides then. America is arguably 13 independent nations rolled up into one. So yeah, we're going to have disagreements based on cultural lines, but we could always at least look at the flag and say, you know what? At the end of the day, we're still Americans. We've had our problems. We've had our issues. We've dealt with a lot of them. The whole point of being an American is that we're getting better at trying to be true to the heart of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. The moment we lose sight of that is the moment we truly lose America, and the national unity is not even a topic to be discussed anymore. But ultimately, Bill O'Reilly is right, Rosie O'Donnell is wrong, and guess who gets chided by the media host? Yeah, it was Bill O'Reilly. That's what we're up against. That's what they're facing. And so if you want national unity, you got to stop watching this crap.